Oh, now he's sitting on a dead body. What have I done? What is going on you guys? My name is CPK and welcome back to another Minecraft video on my channel. Today I'm back on One Life, the Minecraft survival series where you only have one life. And if you die, not only are you out of the server, but you also have to run down the never-ending hallway from Super Mario 64 for the rest of your life. Incoming people don't actually know what that is because I'm old. Well, before we get into our day, we're gonna have to wait for it to be night because we then we need to make it daytime because I'm a wizard. What is that in the distance? It looks like some sort of floating chicken, but it's not, I think it's a tree. But today, I want to quickly thank you guys so much for your support on the last episode. It was a really, really fun one to film. Obviously, big thanks to Lizzie for actually creating the quest because I really enjoyed completing that one. However, I was informed that I actually missed a couple of clues whilst we were doing it. So I thought today I would go back and cover those clues because I do want to see what they said. So we're going to head back across towards Lizzie's house. I think they're both in Lizzie's house, uh, the ones that I missed. It turns out I didn't actually check one of the animal's pens because I found what I thought was the correct animal, so I just went at it. But clearly, there was more for me to explore. And a lot of you guys are super mad because I didn't cover that. Also, people are super mad that I didn't pay Joey a diamond. Now, I do know there is a difference between Joey and Lizzie's spa. That's the reason I use Lizzie's spa so much. Joey's spa, you have to pay a diamond to enter. That's quite a lot just to enter. And Lizzie had obviously built something in there, so we had to go in. So I will message Joey and I will say to him, hey, I went into your spa and I didn't pay a diamond, but I had to because there was a quest, okay? Hopefully he's very understanding. I'm sure he will be. He's a very forgiving man. If not, you know what? I'll give him a diamond, guys. I will. I'll do it. But yeah, my argument was that I didn't technically use the spa, but I know that's not what Joey's sign says. Joey's sign says, pay one diamond to enter. Lizzie still has all her signs up saying that it's booby-trapped, but it no longer is booby-trapped. But that's clever, because if someone doesn't know it's not booby-trapped, they might not come in anymore still. Apparently, I've got to check in here. Is this Mr. Boney? There should be a bag in Mr. Boney's. Ah, there is. What did I miss? Mr. Boney says, this isn't what it looks like. I haven't seen Lizzie in weeks. I was just lonely, so I brought these skeletons in here to keep me company. I promise neither of them is Lizzie. Wow. Okay. So I missed that one. Let me just check myself. I mean, that doesn't quite look like Lizzie because Lizzie's head isn't attached to her knees. So that can't be her. Ooh, this one has its head attached to its neck, which is exactly how uh, Lizzie's head looks. Mm, but it's not got any pink on at all. So I'm pretty sure that's not Lizzie. No, I don't think Mr. Boney was lying. You're a good boy, Mr. Boney. Oh, goodness. I didn't mean to ride you, Mr. Boney. I'm sorry. Oh, now he's sitting on a dead body. What have I done? Now, the other clue that I missed was apparently in Salem's house or pen. I don't know what it is. Also, I'm just going to ring the doorbell. Just kind of like the firework. Pew! Yeah, I don't know what this is classed as. Salem's sanctuary? Let's call it that. Uh, yes, you can actually see Salem is there. And we did miss a clue. But it's a clue that someone has taken and has not put back. So we still can't read the clue, which is pretty sad. If you guys could tell me the clue in the comment section so that I at least know what it says, because that is going to kill me not knowing what that says now. And I am going to do some detective work of my own to try and find out who took the book and didn't put it back. I just let everyone know in the Skype chat that I really wanted to read the book from someone's backpack and that I think they're very rude for taking it from me. Obviously, I'm kidding, guys. I'm sure I will get to find out what it said at some point. But right now, I can't read it, which does make me a little bit sad. You know what? This has been stressing me out for days now. So I'm going to go ahead and fix these stairs. There we go. Ah, oh, that's so much better. You know, they're going to stay there. I don't even want it. I don't even want the crafting table. I'm crazy, okay? I wanted to come and quickly visit Joel's uh, train station. I know he's been making some progress with it so far. I know he's been doing live streams, which are really cool. You should check those out. You know, hashtag I'm a good friend. <laughs> I was so sure he had like one rail done. Did he have a rail done to Lizzie's house or has he, has he not done that? Because Lizzie's house has the little thing outside of it now. So it's assumed. Oh, oh, hold on. Is it this side? <gasps> Wait, he has two done? Oh my goodness. I'm going to go on these train tracks because I want to see where they go. Okay. What kind of railway doesn't provide minecarts for people here? What is this? I really want to have a go on the railway, so I'm going to go back, make myself a minecart, and have a go on the railway. This is going to sound really funny. I've actually never made a minecart in Minecraft, I don't think, before. I really don't think I have. I'm going to guess what the crafting recipe is, because I'm assuming it's just going to be pretty simple, right? But I actually don't know for a fact. So let's take some ingots. Is it like this? That's, nope, here we go. There we go. So, <laughs> I don't think the first one would have worked. Don't think I could have ridden across it in a bucket. Oh, look! Kyle joined the game. Well, isn't that convenient? I wonder what Kyle could be doing on the server. Oh, it's the book thief! 
You book thief -er? How could he? I got him red-handed, guys. I caught the culprit. Maybe Kyle was behind this whole thing. Maybe Kyle was framing Salem when it was actually Kyle who did it. <gasps> this is my new theory. He's only putting dots. We've caught him red-handed. The cheeky devil. He can't confirm or deny. Well, that's it. There's only one thing to do. We're going to have to check out Kyle's channel and see if he did it himself. Oh, boy, am I curious. Okay, I'm excited. We're going to be going on a trip in our favorite rocket ship. Flying through the sky, little light slides. Climb on board. Let's go. Yes. Look at this. It's actually very neat. I can't imagine how much time this is taking him. Even the ground is chiseled cobblestone, I think, or chiseled stone, meaning that he's actually doing all this by hand, like fully. I know he has to delete everything by hand, but I didn't think he'd go this far out of the way, but Joel is going above and beyond for content right now, guys. This is so cool. I fully endorse this. I can't wait until he's finished this whole thing. Oh, it must be nearly there. Wow. That was amazing. Okay, now let's go back to Lizzie's house because I think Kyle has put the book back in the backpack for me so that I can read the clue. Because this one could be an important one because it's Salem who did it. So let's have a look. Ah, the book. An innocent cat. Oh my God, maybe it wasn't Salem. Salem meows from behind the pane of glass. I can't believe I just waited 20 minutes for that. You meow, do you? You meow. Why do you meow? Because you're evil? Hmm? Is it because you're evil, cat? You think you're so cool with your particle effects? Where's your witch now, huh? You ain't got nothing going on. Yeah, I don't trust that cat. I don't trust that cat one bit. Well, it would be pretty rude not to take the train back to spawn and then see where the other train track goes, I think. Oh my god, we just transferred from one track to the other. We now have no choice but to follow this path. Where will it take us? I'm guessing probably Joel's house, but let's find out. Oh my goodness, we have arrived. And it does in fact take us to Joel's house, but has this been blown up by a creeper or something? What's happened here? This is all kinds of messed up. Oh, that's sad. I hope it hasn't been blown up. I hope he just didn't have the stuff to finish it. My only concern with the railway is that I think it's actually quicker to get to Joel's using this. I feel like this is actually faster. Granted, you've got to do something on the railway. You can just sit. So that's quite nice. But I do think that this is a little bit faster. So maybe the railway might not be the best way to go to Joel's. Unless he just blocks all this up. He could just block it up to make everyone use the railway. But regardless, the railway is a super cool idea. And I applaud Joel for putting in so much time and effort and really solidifying the fact that he does in fact love trains, which is actually quite the meme when it comes to Joel. If you go back to some of his old Q and A's, I used to always ask him in the comments something about trains. Whose wolf is this? Chestnuts has been sat out here for weeks now. Whoever is Chestnut's owner needs to come and collect their dog. He's just chilling. He misses his family. So if there's one thing I need to do this week, it is make sure that I get myself some diamonds. So it's going to be a job of me going back into my strip mine. I'm a little bit scared of it because I tend to take damage randomly from stuff. Or like lava will just flow out of a wall and it's terrifying. So uh, I am quite scared of going down there. But I am also in a position where I really need an advanced diamond and sword because the server has some plans that we're going to be doing soon and it involves fighting some stuff and uh i don't want to be the one who dies because i don't have the equipment you get my drift one thing i'm gonna do here though is get myself some lapis lazuli come downstairs because we're gonna go to the enchanting table right now pop this in sharpness all right it actually did just give us sharpness that's it i was hoping for maybe something a little more turns out i still really don't know how to use runes even though people described it to me oh okay this time it's gonna work okay we're gonna call this advanced iron sword the purple slasher let's have a look at this right now oh Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. It looks kind of purple, I guess. It still says Advanced Iron Sword, which I'm pretty sure is not what I named it. Okay, there we go. I had to rename it again to make it work. But we've got the purple slasher now. That cost me 50. 15 enchantment levels. So I just lost literally every enchantment level I had pretty much. I mean, that's a bit of an exaggeration because I've got 13 left, but still that's a lot to lose. And it might mean that I have to make a trip to Brit's zombie farm because that's a good place to get experience from. In the coming weeks, guys, I have many, many plans for one life. Plan to do something similar to what Lizzie did where I make something for other people to do. And also I can't wait for it to be Halloween, which is next Tuesday, because then as soon as it's been Halloween, we can can decorate for Christmas. I really hope that's the rules because I just really, really want to decorate for Christmas, honestly, because Christmas is just the best. Oh, I've run out of this again. How did I do this? Was it like this? I was. There we go. Okay, we got another 24 to pop back in here now. Boop. Boop. 
But yeah, even all my diamond tools are now slowly starting to wear down as well. So coming down here and actually doing some stuff is going to be something that I need to do very soon. What I'm going to do right now, guys, is go ahead and add someone to the party room. Because as I said I would do, I've forgotten quite a few times now already. I'm going to go ahead and add someone to the party room right now. Let me find a comment that I like and I am going to pop a sign on the wall. Okay, so I've just found a comment on my previous video and the good news is guys that Unicorn Fluff is here to party. Oh, what is happening? There we go. Unicorn Fluff is here to party. Oh, it's her to party. What have I done? Thank God you can edit signs now, right? There we go. Unicorn Fluff is here to party. So thank you guys so much for the comments and the support on the last episode there. I really wanted to name my Iron Golem this episode. Then I realized that I don't have any name tags at all. I'm also forgetting where the heck I put my Feather Falling upgrade that I had. Oh, it's there. It's right there. Feather Falling upgrade. So I don't know if you guys are telling the truth, but I had two or three comments two episodes ago when I said, is there anyone who could use the Feather Falling? falling upgrade and a couple of you guys told me that shovel doesn't have it yet i'll be honest with you i have absolutely no idea where shovel lives so what i'm gonna do instead is go to her shop and i'm going to leave it in her shop in a chest because i know she updates her shop quite a bit i'm gonna go ahead leave her a little note telling her it's from me but you guys feel free to go and tell her that i left her this gift as well over on her channel she posts one life pretty frequently so any of those videos will do okay looking for something for specific leave a note so i'm gonna take a book and quill Dear Shovel, subscribers told me you could use this Feather Falling upgrade I had spare. Hope it's useful. If not, pass it on from CPK. A gift. Sign and close. There we go. And I was going to pop the Feather Falling right next to it. Hopefully no one comes in here and steals it because that would be pretty underhand of them. But I don't think that any of our friends would ever do something like that. My shop's still empty because I don't think anyone's really using the shops that much anymore. So I don't want to just put stuff in it for the sake of putting stuff in it. You catch my drift, people? Compadres? Huh? So guys, that is going to be it for another wonderful episode of One Life. Hopefully you have enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new. I have been CBK. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.